Finally this hour, we are launching our new series spotlighting young people who are sure to change the world. It's called Future Phenoms, where we'll meet some incredible young minds who might make you feel a little bit like a slacker, just a little bit. <laughs> so now meet the high school student with his eyes to the sky who just made a remarkable discovery. His name is Wolf. Well, this is cool, but the name Wolf is even cooler. But with all of a sudden stardom... What I discovered was a planet. So. Many simply know him now so, um, as Planet Kid. So the method I was using to find planets is called the transit method. Wolf so, Sukir, not quite a rocket scientist, but already rocking the science world after a massive discovery he made during an internship at NASA. I was just to look through some preliminary data and the planet just happened to be in like that first day of tar searching through targets and just got lucky that it happened so quick. This is the greenhouse. It right. happened at this very desk. I had a monitor here and a laptop here. This 17 year old high school senior saw this piece of data about what was believed to be just another star. And so, was it already labeled TOI 1338? Not at that point. At that point, it was tick 26012833. <laughs> that was the star's name until this rising star came to a different conclusion. His hypothesis that he'd just discovered a planet. Good to see you. Good to see you. Wolf's mentor, Dr. Veselin Kostov, showed him how to search for planets by examining tiny dips in light called transits. Just to give an example, like for, for the past week, I myself have gone through like tens of thousands of light curves. Nothing. But it's a, this is a numbers game. And just three days into his internship, he looked at the right time at the right place. <laughs> Wolf noticed a peculiar pattern. When I saw a decrease in the amount of light reaching our telescope from TRI 1338, that indicated that there was a planet or something else there. What was your immediate response? Once I identified something that looked cool, I put it in my spreadsheet, brought it to my mentor, and once my mentor got back to me that this looks good, that this might actually be something, I called my mom. <laughs> <laughs> and what did, you, what, what did he say to you? Oh, we were on the phone for like about two hours that night. Five months later, along with the work of dozens of researchers, his discovery is about to officially be confirmed a planet, nearly seven times the size of Earth and about 1,300 light years away. The planet orbits around two stars instead of one, making it a circumbinary planet. Unlike Earth, sunsets there might resemble something like this from Star Wars. And while Wolf doesn't get to name the planet, his brother has already been brainstorming. My brother's idea is Wolftopia. <laughs> now, after that out of this world discovery, Wolf is launching a new project in search of gold. I have a vehicle that needs to go as fast as possible, eight and a half meters, and then stop as accurately and precisely as possible sometime after that. At the State Science Olympiad. And good luck to Wolf. Before we go, the image of the day, this magnificent shot of NASA's solar orbiter blasting off from Cape Canaveral late last night. It will take two years to reach the sun. That's our show for this hour. We'll be back at 9 o'clock with more of tonight's top stories. I'm Lindsay Davis. Thanks for streaming with us. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.